Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show a demo about implementing basic animation in .NET MAVI. So there are four types of animation you can use. Fade animation, rotation, scale and translate. So let's implement one by one. Okay, so here from the main page, I'm just going to remove this all code. And here on image, I'm just going to perform animation. So first I'm just going to perform fade animation so like fade in out animation so here on the click of image i'm just going to make fade out and then fade in Okay, now using this image here you can use head 2 and in that you just need to provide opacity value. So first I'm just going to make head out and here animation duration you can provide. So I'm just going to set 2 seconds. So first it is going to perform fade out then again I'm just going to set that opacity value to 1 so it's just going to perform fade in animation. Now let me run the app so on the click of image it's just going to do fade out then fade in. Okay, so if I tap image, so it's just going to fade out then fade in. Now let's add another animation. Okay, so another animation here, I'm just going to add rotation. So let me add here another image. Okay, so here in the code behind, I'm just going to create another tabs gesture for rotation. And here now I can use img rotation dot rotate to and in that I just need to specify rotation value. So let me just set 360. So it's just going to rotate to 360 degree now let me run the app so on the tap of image it's just going to rotate okay so now here i'm tapping it's just rotating now if i tap again it's not going to rotate because it's already rotated and its value set to 360 so if you want to perform again rotation then either I need to set this IMG rotation uh, rotate rotation value to 0 then if I tap again it's going to rotate so let me show you again okay so first I tap it's rotate and again if I tap it's going to rotate because we set that value to 0 again or you can use instead of rotate to you can use relative rotate to so let me remove this now 
if I run then it just going to start from the last state. So if, if I tap it's going to rotate and again if I tap it's just going to rotate. Okay, now let me add here another image that you can also rotate vertically or horizontally. So here I'm just going to add another two images. IMG vertical rotation and horizontal rota uh, rotation. Okay, so to perform vertical rotation, you can here use rotate x2 and here just provide rotation value. And for horizontal, you can use rotate y2. And here I'm just going to use now IMG V rotation, vertical rotation, that image name, and here horizontal rotation image name. Now let me run the. Okay, so it's just going to rotate, and this will be vertical, and this will be horizontal. Okay, now let me add scaling animation. So here I'm just going to add scale. Okay, so here in code behind, now I'm just going to create another caps gesture for scale animation. So here, for scale animation, and here I'm just going to use this image, I am the scale image, and here you can provide scale to so I just want to make it double size of image so on the top of that it's just going to scale to double size and again it come back to normal size so let me just run the app okay so here if I tap, it's just going to zoom in and zoom out. Okay, now here I'm going to add translate animation. So it just, if you want to translate object from like one place to another place, then you can use translate. So first I'm just uh, going to 
translate here so you can use translate to and in that you need to just provide x and y value so first i'm just going to translate to right so just i'm like a 50 point translate right and that duration i'm just going to set two second and again just get back to same position so it's just going to first translate right then it's just set to again left now let me run the app so if i tap on image it's just going to translate to right side and again come to same position okay and now let me just set that second to one second so it will just move faster yeah okay same way you can translate to up and down also so for that here x value i'm just going to set it zero but up i'm just going to set minus 50 so it's just going to translate up then again i will translate it to same position so it's just going to be down. now let me run the app so if i click on image it's just going to perform all the operation okay now let's add code related to performing multiple anim animation concurrently so for that here i'm just going to add one button and on the click of that button i'm just going to perform multiple animation okay so this same image this translate image i'm just going to use to perform multiple animation so here you can use either task dot when any so any of the animation completed then the whatever the next animation i add here that going to execute so let's first use so first i am just uh, going to use scale so first it's just going to perform scaling then it's going to perform rotation Okay, and here once this scaling is completed again I just going to make that scaling to one so it's just going to come back to original image size so when I click on button it's just going to zoom out then zoom in and then it perform rotation so let me run the app Okay, so here on the click of start, see this, it's parallelly working. Okay, so that's all for today. I hope you like this video and thank you so much for watching it.